Hello and welcome in our next uh, Java lesson. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, numbers and variables. And uh, I would like to recommend you uh, another program which can help us to learn Java. Uh, I mean Dr. Java. So let's uh, open our browsers and uh, type Dr. Java like this and uh, go to the web page uh, drjava.org here we want to download the beta version not the stable one because the beta version has uh, better functionality so let's download the version for windows if you are using windows and just uh, save it in a safe place no install is needed i, I already downloaded it so i, I cancel it now uh, no install is needed, just uh, run this file. Uh, Dr. Java is entirely written in Java, so it doesn't need install. And here we would like to use uh, Interactions Console, because this is interactive console where we can type uh, everything, anything, and the expression will be evaluated. So if we type, for example, 4 plus 5, we get 9. And uh, 4.2. 4 times 3, ok, we get uh, immediate answers. Uh, so let's talk about uh, numbers and mathematical operations. In Java we generally have uh, normal mathematical operators like plus, minus, uh, multiply and divide, divide. but we, uh, we should take care about division because normal, normally if we divide two uh, integer numbers we get an integer number as a result and if uh, it is 4 and 2 there is no problem but if we divide 4 by 3 we get 1 not 1 dot 333 three, three. because the product of in integer division is an integer number if you want to get floating point number as a product what we expect we should uh, put one of those uh, numbers as floating point. So type 4.0 div divided by 3 and we got results, uh, result we expected. So remember about this because if, if you forgot uh, you can uh, get strange results in your programs. Uh, okay, there is no uh, power operator like for example two stars in Forza but we can use the class math with pow function so let's type pow 2 to 8 and this is 2 power 8 and similarly 2 power 16 is uh, this number okay this is uh, there is a, a huge mathematic library and uh, we can see all all its functions in the Java AP, API, and uh, let's go to the web page uh, with the API. So let's type Java 7 API and go to this page docs.org.com Java SE 7. We have here all classes included in standard distribution of Java and we can click on any class and see the detailed description here in this right window so let's look for math 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 okay it, there is math and uh, we see that we, we have two fields mathematical numbers like e and pi and some mathematical functions absolute value arcus casinos uh, exponents uh, log logarithm and so on we have our pow function there is also a round uh, uh, random numbers we'll see it in, in a while and sqrt our square root so let's uh, see math sq RT for it's of course 2 and uh, SQRT of 2 is 
one point or one etc. Uh, okay, there is a, a very useful function math round which can round uh, for us any floating point number to integer number. So 2.3 is rounded to 2, 2.8 is rounded to 3. Another function is uh, random uh, with upper parameters and it gives a random number from 0 to 1. And if we multiply this by some value, for example 400 by 100, we got numbers from 0 to 100. But there are floating point numbers, so we can round it and we got integer numbers. And this is a very simple way to get some integer numbers. In. It will be very useful in our problems. Okay, so uh, what about uh, variables? We Java is strongly typed, so we have to declare variables. And uh, there are two main mathematical types. Integer uh, for integer numbers and double for floating point numbers. Uh, integer numbers, integer variables we declare in this way, integer x for example, or integer a, or, or integer x and a and b, or, and we have the later, we can later assign a value, like this. Of course we can declare and assign numbers in the same lines, for example, integer x is equal to 10. <coughs> Even for s s several numbers, integer x is equal to, uh, to 10, a is equal to 3, for example, and this is okay. For floating point numbers, we have the declaration double. It's double precision, floating point number. So we have, for example, x var equals 2.3. Okay. Uh, x var. We we can uh, we cannot assign a floating point value to integer number because compiler uh, gives us error. But we can declare double in this way. Double x is equal to two because compiler automatically converts it to floating point number. This declaration is okay. But of course it is better, more elegant, the is like this, to be absolutely sure uh, which numbers we are declaring. Uh, and uh, there is also a type float, but it is sing single precision and it has only uh, four, um, four digits uh, after the dot period and double, double type has uh, 15 digits. So it is uh, much more precise, so we should use in our programs double type. So for integer numbers use int, and for double use double. And this is all for this lesson, uh, we will talk about variables more in the next lesson. So thank you very much for your attention, and see you in our next lesson. Bye.